All right, guys, go ahead with the questions. Caden said they had shirts made that's uh, toughness over talent. What's yeah. kind of behind that? Well, I think toughness has to show up every day. I mean, your ability to, to handle adversity yeah. and bounce back from it, uh, to step up every single day and, and give uh, everything you got. And when things aren't going well, uh, you know, you got to be able to flush it and move on to the next rep or the next practice or the next game. And that's where true mental toughness lies. Uh, so, uh, and look, we know the, the level of competition that we're playing in league play and even in our non-conference play, we're playing high quality baseball teams where toughness has got to show up and uh, competing every pitch of every ball game is the only sign that we have on our door. And uh, guys got to be tough. They got to be able to bring that type of focus and energy level every single day. So uh, for us, the guys that are going to play for us are the ones that can show that toughness and, and step up to the challenge every single day and compete every pitch. After the last trend, have you noticed a different energy or a different level of urgency in the guys so far? Well, I think this, this year has been phenomenal. Um, you know, the fall went very, very well since we came back. Uh, you know, probably the first message I would say that was, was sent to me was one where it, it wasn't even told to me. Uh, you know, January 3rd was the first opportunity that the guys could come back and work out on their own. Uh, no coaches were involved. It was all player-led. Uh, and, and every player on the roster was here on January 3rd. We didn't start class until January 12th. So our guys literally... Uh, for, for nine days or you know, however many days it was, our guys were working out in the weight room, doing sprint work, hitting on their own, throwing on their own. It was player led. Uh, and it just, again, just it's a, it shows the type of leadership uh, that we have on the team with some of the older guys and just how much it meant to them to get everybody back here and working together um, as we get ready for the season. Caden was saying it was as small as having like parts of the stadium that they had to clean up, and making sure everybody's on top of stuff like that. I mean, how much have you seen players taking responsibility? Well, it's a big deal. I mean, we, we've spent a lot of time trying to develop leadership within our program. I mean, you know, talking about last year, and, and that's one of the things that we really we needed. We needed more players leading the program. You know, you're not going to have great leadership if you don't police the locker room and you don't hold uh, each other accountable. And that shows up when it comes to setting up the field and breaking the field down, keeping the dugouts clean, keeping the player lounge clean, the locker room clean. Um, and, you know, quite honestly, you got to be able to have those uncomfortable conversations with your teammates for the guys that aren't doing what they're supposed to do. So, you know, on the back of that shirt, it says respect the game. Well, you can't respect the game if you don't respect everything about it. And that comes with going to class every day, being on time, uh, respecting the facility, respecting the uniform, respecting the program, respecting how we play the game, how we practice, all of those things. So uh, it's just, uh, again, just a whole encompassing thing that we're just trying to do, and, and the guys are leading it. You know, my goal, and I told them this first team practice, my goal is not to have a lot of team meetings. We had a lot of team meetings last year. If I'm having a lot of team meetings, that means that I'm trying to lead the team and I'm trying to get the guys going in the right direction because I see that it's not going in the right direction. So uh, we're just trying to get the guys to lead the program, and they know the expectations. I'm spending more time meeting with the leadership council. The leadership council was voted on by the players, not by me. I didn't. I didn't make make the group. They voted for the group. So you know that group is the is the group of guys that I spend time talking to. Uh, if there's any issues that need to be brought up, they bring it up to me. I give them my advice, and then I let them lead from there. So that's probably. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a change. We've done that for for all seven years that I've been here, but I think this group has taken it more seriously. You mentioned... Who are the leaders that, that they really count on this year? Oh, well, I mean, and, and it's more than just the leadership council, uh, but Mac Anglin uh, is, is, is one of them. Uh, Jeffrey Gilbert uh, is another one that was voted by his peers, and Jackson Lindley. Um, those guys... Uh, received the most votes on the on the pitching staff, so they're the they're the they're the leadership council of the uh, of the pitchers, and then uh, the position guys, Chad Ferry, uh, Blake Wright, and Briar Hawkins. You know those those were the three guys that were voted upon by their teammates. So that's the six, but it's not just those six. Um, you know, there's there's several other guys that have leadership qualities and that are very very well respected uh, within the group. But those guys are also the oldest. You know of the group, so they they tend to command the most respect from a leadership standpoint because they they have the most stripes on their sleeve, so to speak. Outside of a, uh, less team meetings, what does a player-led team look like from your perspective? Well, it 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 it, it 
is pretty simple. Um, you know, quite honestly, you just watch us practice. You know, watch us practice and watch us play. Um, and you'll be able to see those types of things. You'll be able to see that, you know, wherever our players are, if they're doing the things they're supposed to be doing, they're, they're locked in on what's going on on every single rep. It's just about competing every pitch. And that means if I'm in the dugout, I should be watching the game pitch by pitch, being a student of the game in the dugout. Um, you know, I, I'm not a I'm, – I'm a big believer in enthusiasm and energy in the dugout, but I think sometimes – you know, we, it, it becomes more about that than it does about paying attention to the game and, and bringing the right type of energy in the dugout towards the guys on the field. So it's about watching the game and learning in the dugout what's going on, talking baseball in the dugout while the game is going on. Um, it's about when you show up, you show up on time, you get your early work in. And the position guys set the standard what time they're supposed to be here every day and be in the batting cages before practice. I mean, just look behind you. This is all optional batting practice. Nobody's made them be out here. Uh, nobody organized this. It's basically guys, the field's open starting at 130 if you want to hit. And uh, if you want to show up and hit, hit. Well, they're all here. So that's what it means. It's basically, you know, we can talk the talk all we want, but they have to walk the walk. Uh, leadership takes action. It's like anything else. You know, there's no manual on being a leader. It takes action. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's what they're doing. They're, they're taking leadership and action and, and, and showing up on time, working hard, checking in every day, stepping up every day, and, uh, and getting better. And uh, that, that's leadership in a nutshell to me is taking action to get a little bit better every single day and pushing others to get a little bit better every day. Well, I guess if you want to finalize that your weekend rotation, at least for that opening series. Well, we'll finalize the rotation before we play Indiana. Uh, so, <laughs> um, you know, quite honestly, look, I mean, everybody seems to think that that is like a, like a concern as far as like we don't have our, our rotation set. Well, we do play uh, 12 men squads before we play somebody else. Those games matter. They should matter. And here's why. Because when you play in the fall – there's a, there's a significant amount of downtime from the time we finish in the fall, which is around the beginning of November, until now. Uh, so how hard did they work to maintain their position on that totem pole from November the 1st until now? So we want to see how much better have some of these guys who are in a position to be in our rotation since you asked about the rotation. Are they, are they in the same spot they were in at the end of the fall, or are they better? You know, some of, those, some of the guys that are in a position to be in the rotation, now do they feel the reality that we're three weeks away or whatever it is from playing somebody else? Now is the pressure you know, going to hit their shoulders a little bit more? Well, we want to see how they respond to that pressure. We want to see is mentally, are they any different now than they were in the fall? They were in a great position in the fall or they wouldn't be starting for us in uh, weekend inter squads. But they have to maintain that and beat the other guy out. You know, it's still competition. This isn't just practice. You know, it's competition every single day. And that's why Anglin's going against Hoffman, because we think very highly of those guys. And it's sitting in a spring training game where they're just coming in to get their work in. They're trying to win a job, and that's the Friday night job. That, that job should mean something. You know, that's why we have the guys starting that we have the guys starting. They're trying to beat each other out and win that job. Uh, so, uh, but they're, they're all starting because we believe in them. We believe that they have the ability to be a weekend starter for us. And hopefully for some of the guys that are even in the bullpen, they understand that too. You know, who's going to be the closer? You know, we feel pretty good about a handful of guys. Uh, but they still, the reality is, is Indiana's coming here soon, and uh, the, lever of, the level of pressure to perform is going to go up now. You know, in the fall, we're just playing, yeah. right? We're developing. The fall is about development. Uh, the spring is about winning. Uh, so I'm going to look for guys that I think can help us win games, and that's what I'm looking for. Who pounds the strike zone? When they get a hitter down to two strikes, who finishes hitters? Who does the best job of finishing hitters when they get ahead of hitters? You know, what level of intent are you going to pitch with? You know, again, if, if, if guys come out here and they treat it like it's a bullpen or a spring training game or just an inner squad, probably not going to be a weekend starter for us. It's really that simple. It matters. Every, every practice, every rep, every game matters. Same thing with the position guys. There's still jobs for, that are open. 
Uh, so um, but that's the beauty of competition, and that's where toughness over talent matters. There's going to be guys that are tougher uh, than some of the guys who are talented, and they're going to beat them out. So, um, you know, I think the guys <coughs> understand that. This is nothing that I haven't talked about with them, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when we play here, uh, you know, starting at 4 o'clock.